Good afternoon, community. I apologize for a YouTube video. I really wanted to see you face-to-face -to, -face to speak with you about these things. However, I just don't think it's practical over the holidays for us to try to schedule a parent meeting. So I'm having to come to you via YouTube. I'm very thankful for that, but I do wish I could see you face-to-face -face and talk with you about these things. I wanted to let you know that I spoke with the ministers at Temple today. I apologize that I have not done this before now, um, gotten with them and explained to them the heart of our ministry, but I did meet with them today, and it was a very good meeting. They were very um, honest with me. They were very open with me. They shared with me the heart of Temple and what their ministry is, and they listened to me while I talked about classical conversations. Um, they, they really want to make it work with us. They want... Um, to be the facility that we meet in. They want to provide us with what we need. However, if if it's not working out, we will just not, not be there. But we are going to finish this year out there and we're gonna try to change things up a little. So I'm coming to you now with um, a hard message, but um, one that, that I don't wanna share, but one that I think is necessary. I'm a people pleaser. I don't want to come down hard on anyone. However, it is it is time to, to bring um, our community back in line with what it should be. And the reason we're there is to know God and make him known. We um, aren't there to let our kids have a good play date. We aren't there to visit with our friends. We are coming to CC each week and the curriculum is designed so that we can make much of him, know much of him, and, um, and help our children do that as well. So there are gonna be some new rules set in place that I'm just gonna ask these of you and I'm gonna trust that you're adults and that you're gonna do what's right and what you feel is necessary. Um, the first thing I'm gonna ask of you is that you sit with your kids during morning assembly. This kind of sets the whole tone for the day and if they see moms in the back visiting with friends while we're up there doing morning assembly, um, that kind of says to them that this is not an important time. So I'm going to ask you to not stand in the back, not stand on the sides, but come and sit with your children during morning assembly time. Um, let's, let's not be hands off. Let's, let's get in there with them. I'm going to ask that you limit your time visiting in the hallway. I know that there will be those Mondays when you just need to unload um, a burden onto someone else and be encouraged by someone else. I just feel like that's probably a rarity and not the norm. So I'm gonna ask you to really be intentional about if you slip out of the room to go to the bathroom or to go grab something for a tutor, get back in that room as quickly as you possibly can and be there with your child. The classrooms are not <clears throat> meant to be the burden of the tutor alone. They are meant to be um, there with the parents. And I know that you have children in multiple rooms, so you're gonna have to um, be in one room one, one week and another room the next week possibly, but whatever room you're in, be in that room. Be there with those children. Be present. Help that tutor out. They are going to try their best to make sure that the kids are raising their hands and not shouting out or getting out of their seats, but a lot of times the tutor's just trying to get through that new material quickly, so they're going to need you to come up behind that child and pat them on the shoulder or ask them to to quit talking so much. And here's here's the next thing that's gonna happen. Mom's in that room. You have the authority to ask that child if they are not respecting those around them or that, that tutor to um, that they're gonna go to their mom. You can walk them to their mom's classroom wherever their mom is and take them to their mom. And this used to happen a lot more. I remember my first year at CC it happening in the class I was in and I remember it happening several times after. Because we wanna hold our kids to a high standard that tells them that respect is important and that authority is important and that the world does not revolve around them. And just because they want to say something doesn't mean they have the right to say that thing. And I know that sounds cruel and harsh to an extent, but it's what's necessary, especially when you have eight kids in a classroom who all want to share their thing. So we're gonna ask our kids to raise their hands, to not shout out. We're not gonna punch each other. We're not gonna wrestle with each other. We're not gonna sit on the floor and roll around. We're gonna act um, respectfully to those around us and we're going to compose ourselves. And if your child is not able to do that, then they will be sent to you just until you're able to um, speak with them about how um, classroom behavior should look. And again, this is not about hurting anyone's feelings. This is about us loving our children well and not pandering to them. So this is gonna be a new rule that's employed and I hope that um, I hope that you see it coming from a place of love 
and um, and respect for you and for your household and respect for for CC and for Temple. Um, I'm also going to ask a, a little bit slightly different, um, slightly different, a very different. There's going to be a very different um, lunch time. So we are now going to be having lunch in the refuge. I'm not sure if tables will be set up for us yet or not. It may be that we have to set our own tables up. A lot of communities do that. Ours is blessed by Temple's um, custodial staff because they set all, all of our stuff up for us usually, but I'm not sure if they're gonna set the tables up for us in the refuge. However, we are sharing the refuge with the challenge classes, which means about 100 of us are gonna be down there. We're gonna try our best to make this work, and if this doesn't work, we'll come up with a plan B. For now, this is what lunchroom time is going to look like. At 1145, your child's tutor is going to have all the children in their classes um, collect all their belongings and sit against the wall. I know this is going to sound kind of odd for those older kids, but this is how it's going to have to look. And then the parent, you, you as the parent, will walk from class to class gathering your children. You will then take your family with you down to the refuge to eat lunch. And if they would like to go outside, then you will take them to the field. Or if another mom says, hey, I'm gonna take my crew out. Do you, does anyone wanna go? That mom is then responsible for all those children. We're no longer gonna have a field duty mom. It was getting crazy. Kids were going down on their own without those moms. They were coming up sometimes without the mom. That didn't happen as much, but kids did go down without moms a lot. Um, and so we're just, we're going to have to do away with that. It's going to be you walking your kids physically to the refuge. Your kids will eat in the refuge. They will play in the refuge. If they want to go to the field, like I said, a parent can then take them to the field. And then at about 1245, we're going to clean up the whole refuge. We're going to go through and pick up trash and, and cups and everything else. Clean up the refuge completely. And then you will walk your child back upstairs for essentials child care, and I'll get to that in a minute for those of you in essentials. So your child will never run ahead of you. They're not gonna be behind you. They are gonna be around you as you walk from the refuge back upstairs, and we are gonna have to walk by offices both ways, so we're gonna need our best to be quiet. They've asked that we not run at all in the hallways, so we're not gonna run upstairs in the B building. We're not gonna run to the refuge. If your child wants to run, which most of them do, they will just need to go outside to do that. And I don't think that's unreasonable at all. I think that's a safety concern, and I think that's a best practice for indoors. So we're gonna honor Temple's request for that. The other thing that they've asked is that all of our foundation's children be accompanied to the bathroom, which will mean that probably your tutor will decide to take their whole class to the bathroom once, um, once a class period. And I think one time is enough for these kids. If there's an emergency and they have to go really badly, a parent's just gonna need to take them. So no more if you're nine and up, it's fine. You know, eight and under, you need an adult. It's gonna be all adults during lunch, all adults during foundations time. You have to go with an adult to the bathroom. In the refuge, they've asked that we use that bathroom that's out in the hall past the classrooms, not the one upstairs. So during lunchtime, if your child has to use the restroom, they need to come to you, they need to say, I gotta go to the restroom, and you need to walk them to that restroom and then walk them back into the refuge. Um, the other big difference that's changing is that we, they have new carpet laying down upstairs, and so we are not going to eat on that. So this is gonna be um, interesting. Now, when I say we're not gonna eat on that, we are allowed to have our snacks. However, we are only allowed to have water upstairs. No Gatorades, no juice boxes, and no Kool-Aid uh, mixers, just water. Only water upstairs, and we are asked that we have snacks that are easy to clean up. So no Lunchables with pizza sauce. Um, we're not gonna do sticky things. We're just gonna bring snacks that are easy to pick up, that if there are crumbs around, we can quickly pick them up or possibly vacuum, vacuum them if needed, but I hope not that. So during snack time, please make sure to pack your child something that is easy to clean up, that will not make a mess on the floor, and no more sugary drinks during snack time. So if your child wants to bring uh, a soft drink for lunch, you hold on to that so that they're not accidentally opening it during snack time. Um, the last thing I wanted to address is, um, well, before I do that, we're not climbing on any chairs. We are not hiding under tables. We are not wrestling. We are there to know God and to make him known. 
We are there to respect those around us and to be in community with those around us. The time for wrestling and play will be outside during lunch. So please make sure to stress that to your child when you speak with them about all these things. Okay, and then the final thing is essentials child care. Um, if you have a child in essentials, what we um, child care, what you're going to do when you walk them upstairs from the refuge is you will physically take them that hallway between Wendy's room and Emily's room. We're going to have them sit on that wall with their stuff and explain to them, you are to sit here until Miss Debbie asks you to get up. We're not using the lunchroom at all. It is no longer ours, so we're not going to worry. We're not even going to go in there. Um, and you will sign your child in, and then um, you can go to essentials. And then when you come back at about 2.50, Debbie's going to do the same thing. She's going to start asking the kids to gather their belongings and to sit against that wall so that at 3 o'clock when you release from essentials, you will then... Um, go and get your child, sign them out, and you will walk them out. So they're not going to be running around playing in one of the classrooms for you to go get them. Everybody will be sitting against that wall. Um, so I think that these changes are good for our community. I think our community is in need of some reining in. I apologize that I have let it get this far. I, I have fear of man has driven me to make some poor choices, and I apologize for that. And being open and honest with you, I've seen this coming for a long time and felt like, well, but I told them what the rules were, so they're just going to follow them. And, and I think you were trying. I think I was trying. Half the time, I was I was breaking them as well. So we are going to um, we're going to get back at the fresh start for the new year, a new page. Please sit down with your child. You can let them watch this video if you want. Um, but speak with them because it's important that they know all these things before they come January 6th to morning assembly. They need to know all the things that are going to be expected of them because these are some pretty big changes and we just don't have time during morning assembly to address all of them. So I am, I am asking you as their parent to be the responsible one to share this with them. Sit them down and talk to them about the severity of this situation. We have abused Temple's facilities. We have not treated them respectfully. And so we, we need to be um, reminded of what that's supposed to look like. So please, um, please do take take that seriously and I thank you so much for your your kindness towards me I thank you for your concern I thank you for your patience with me mm -hmm. as I um, imperfectly lead this community in the role of director thank you